Hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. A beautiful day today. We do have a few showers out there. We're going to talk about some rumbles of thunder heading into your holiday weekend. An update coming up right now. You're watching Hutch's Weather. Now, a Hutch's Weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibb and Sons and temperatures today a little bit cooler on the Minnesota side of the river, central Minnesota near 70 to those lower 70s. We warm it to mid 70s as we go towards places like, well, Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls and out towards Faustin. We have 75 degrees here in the Red River Valley. Ranges from 81 in Cavalier and Hallock to 82 in Fargo and those low 80s stick around for Valley City, for Jamestown and Carrington. Heading into your afternoon, basically uniform temperatures across the board with a little bit of a drop off as we head into areas just off towards central and eastern Minnesota. Showers showing up on the radar out in parts of Lakes Country. A few pimples on the radar here in the Cass County area east of Fargo. Norman, Monoman County line, we have a little thunder shower there. Not a lot of lightning from these, but there could be a little bit here and there. Spotty showers in nature. Most of us will stay dry. A few of us will have a quick sidewalk gusher as it works its way through. Now let's take a look at your forecast. And as we do so, you're going to notice that we do have a chance of showers again for tomorrow, but let's go through what we have going on as we go into your evening tonight. So as we do close out, showers will be ending as we head into the late evening hours here, and it looks fairly quiet. We do have that flood warning along the red here as we've noticed the rivers rising mainly in rural areas up and out of the town here, but we are seeing some impacts in and around the FM area from all of the water rushing down the Red River stem. All right, now as we take a look overnight, very quiet morning conditions, very quiet. It's going to be comfortable and it will be cool with a northwest wind, but of only about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then heading into the afternoon, notice a few of these pop-up uh, cumulus clouds, just like today. And in the evening, we could have a passing shower. Once again, hit and miss type activity as we work our way through the best chance from Botno, Walhalla, Rock Lake, right down through Grand Forks and into Northwest Minnesota. Then we let this roll just a little bit farther and we'll see a few thunder showers as we head into the morning hours in the central and eastern parts of South Dakota. That's it. So here's a look at the digits now and we'll take a look at that extended forecast first because there is something I want to let you know about right now. I've highlighted in red Thursday as we warm up all work week long, humidity and a few thunderstorms could be strong, may be severe Thursday afternoon. I've highlighted that in red. Friday, the 4th of July, a lot of you travelers out there, make sure you stay informed about the weather any way you can. One way you can do that is on hutchesweather.com, of course. I think there's an excellent chance of storms being strong to severe. A lot of heat, a lot of humidity. Much of the day will be pleasant, but if storms form, stay informed once again. Cooler as we close out the remainder of your holiday weekend and we stay in the seasonal range heading into the end of the first full week of the month of July. Can you believe it or not? Here's your hometown planning forecast. 58 Fargo, 57 in the morning, Grand Forks. Quiet conditions, just a few more clouds in northern parts of Minnesota. Heading into your afternoon, look at this. 81 is fun for Fargo. Northwest winds at up to 25 miles per hour. I think the strongest winds will be, be where we see the unsettled activity. Passing clouds and showers from near Botno straight down into the Bemidji area. Not expecting severe and temperatures for you, by the way, again in the 70s for a comfortable lakes day. Speaking of hutchesweather.com, I want to thank each and every one of you who have done this. Clicked over here, you went to the viewer picture and photo upload section, and when you've done so, check out what you have uploaded. Some new information, Roseau County Tornado. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Check it out as we click together uh, on this picture that's up here by Hutch's ear. This was one beast of a tornado out there. This was northwest of Greenbush as it was crossing from Kitson County and right into parts of Roseau County. And multiple photos of this sent in by Justin. I truly appreciate you taking the time to share your photos, Justin. Here's another one of that big beefy tornado. And look at the low clouds wrapping around that as that storm was not producing a small tornado. Hopefully it stayed just over open terrain. Thanks again to all of you who have uploaded your photos at hutchesweather.com. Stay tuned for more information on our weekend of unsettled weather. I'll have an update coming up later tonight. For now, enjoy your evening. I know I will, and we'll talk again real soon right here on Hutch's Weather.